How's it going, everybody? I'm Nikki Delventhal, and this is my dog, Camper Delventhal. We lived in a Prius full-time for three years, but now we're in a 4x4 Sprinter. And we're here to take you along on the wild ride. So fasten up your seatbelts and let's have some fun. Don't forget, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and turn on notifications. Camper and I would be so thankful. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, camper. Good morning, you guys. So last night we slept on Highway 50, still on the loneliest road in America. And we chose this elk viewing to sleep at because, oh my God, it was a fiasco. So we went to Cave Lake and found out they had drained the lake and they're doing a ton of construction. We were getting so tired. So it was between here and the truck stop miles down the road. So we chose elk viewing area, hoping to see some elk, unfortunately. No elk this morning, but still vast and beautiful. Come up. You hungry? All right, one sec. Camper eats raw food, but when we're on the road like this in the middle of nowhere, we do the dehydrated just in case. Bon appetit. Can't do anything without coffee. Camp, you keeping an eye out there for elk? Here's the tricky part. Whoop. Mushroom. Oil with a side of Disney princess. Agave or honey. Sometimes collagen frozen. You guys, so I'm super excited today. We are checking out some awesome spots that I've been meaning to check out for years now. What color are we gonna pick of the clothes that are all exactly the same? It's the simple things that get me. Does that even match? Oh, you look so handsome in your new outfit. We love it. I did sign up for a loves card, so I now get free showers every 50 gallons, which might be today. I'm a few gallons short, so maybe next time for the shower. There's no way I'm paying. I don't know how much it is now, 17, 18, 20. It's up there for a shower, so. Next fill up, we're getting a free shower. All right, camp, you can nap while we adventure. We have officially made it to McGill, Nevada. 
and although it's in the middle of nowhere, they do have a population of around 1,000, so pretty cool. Hi there, welcome to the McGill Drugstore Museum. Amazing. We are in a drugstore truly frozen in time. And right here, we have our friend Keith. Okay. Say hi, Keith. Yeah. Say hi to YouTube. Hi. <laughs> is this your all your people? This is all my people. Okay. <laughs> now you're my people. Okay. Keith grew up here. He is truly a local and a native, so I think no one is better to tell us about the town than Keith. Thank you. The town itself here was built in 1906, 1907, and they built a railroad from here 135 miles north to what they call Cobri up north of Wells. They built the smelter, the mill, the railroad, this, and the pit in two years. Jerry and Elsa Colbert, he graduated from uh, pharmacy school in Idaho. They moved here in the 30s and uh, they bought the place in 1945. Now she ran the fountain and the store out here. Jerry did all of the prescriptions. All right, Keith is gonna give us a tour of this drugstore. It is one of the most fascinating places. Where do you wanna start? Where where should we start? Well, we can start over here in the corner. Amazing. The year I was born, 1935. That's the town when you were born? Mm -hmm. Wow. This is a picture of the town in 1946. This is a do-it-yourself at home. You could uh, develop your own film at home. Wow. You put it in here and they tell you what temperature to have it and how long. No way. The camera gear, I think, is some of my favorite just because, I mean, I filmed my entire YouTube channel on this. Oh, I know. It's crazy. And it's just, it's so quick. So do you know why they called them soda jerks? Why? Because in the old days they would make a phosphate and it had the foam so they would jerk this back and forth. There you go. Thank you, Keith. You're welcome. Delicious. Don't forget to tip your bartender. All right, what are we going to make you? How'd I do? Very good. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Your character. You want to see the interesting stuff? Oh. Oh, this isn't interesting yet? Well, it gets better. No way. Yeah. All right, I'm ready. This is where they mix the drugs. Now, Jerry, the druggist, was a compounder. He mixed everything from scratch. He had presses that made his own pills, and we got a suppository maker up there, and the whole world. Jerry would mix about 10,000 prescriptions a year. Wow, 10,000? Mm-hmm. Okay, 1921 to 1932 was prohibition. You couldn't buy alcohol in the United States, beer, whiskey, or whatever. But if you knew a doctor, he could write you a prescription for a bottle of whiskey. That's what this is. What? See, pint of whiskey. That is so cool. And I found these hidden, and they're all the week before Christmas. So apparently he was passing out Christmas presents, I guess. I think. <laughs> now we're going to put you to work. Put me to work? Yes, and you'll be very interested in this. Wow, this is really cool. I made this for you. Oh, <laughs> you keep them. 
You can keep them. <laughs> now do you want a ghost story? Do I ever? I love ghost okay. stories. So look at these pictures. Yeah. They get a little off center. I'll straighten them out. Two days later, they're off center again. No way. So I quit doing it. Who do you think it is? And then one day, this will really get you. I came, there's only two people have keys to this building. I come in here one day, and those gloves were right there. No way. I've, what do you? Do you know who has died here or in the area? Or maybe do you think it's Jerry? Well, Jerry never had hands that small. All right, after you, sir. So this room here was added on in 1912. Some of this stuff is probably from the 20s or 30s. These people never threw anything away. This room here was added on in 1930. And again, it was a storeroom. See this? Mm -hmm. When I opened it up, they used to do telegrams here. Wow. This telegram was in the 60s, and I recognized the name. He's a buddy of mine, so I called him. He was in Vietnam in combat, and his dad was dying here. His parents tried to get a hold of him, his mother. And they could never get a hold of him. So she called our senator, Howard Cannon. And he sent her this telegram telling her that he found her son. He was on an airplane coming home. And he made it home in time to spend three days with his father before he died. This is the portable that Jerry the druggist took to pharmacy school with him in the 30s, 35. And then he used it until he died in 79 with the two fingers. Do you want to wear that? Uh, of course. You guys, look at my gifts from Keith. Oh, I'm going to wear my hat right now. Now Keith gets to meet Camper. All right, after you, sir. Okay. This right here, this is my home. This is my full-time home. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> well, let me get the door for you. Keith, have you ever been in a Sprinter van before? Nope. Before we continue on today's adventure, a huge thank you to Bottle Bottle for sponsoring a portion of today's video. You guys have seen them in many videos in the past, but today I'm very excited because we are introducing the new 40 ounce Hydro X. Now what stands out to me with Bottle Bottle is their design. For one, there is a dual lid so you can pour or drink with a straw, whatever you're choosing. It's double insulated, that's double walled stainless steel, so that means it will stay cold for 24 hours or hot for 12. It's BPA free and they have all these new vibrant colors across all sizes. They also have 24 ounce and 32 ounce. And now for my favorite part of the design, it is the removable bottom. So a lot of people will use this for pills or cards or keys, but I personally like to use it on hikes with the dogs and I put water in here so it takes up a lot less space. You can get Bottle Bottle for 15% off. All you have to do is go to Amazon or BottleBottle.com. I have those links below in the description and use code 15 Nikki YT. All right, you guys ready to go on an adventure? Back on the road. This is my home. This is where I live. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, Camper, do you like Keith? All right, you guys, Keith has agreed <laughs> to show us around before we head out of town. So we're going to take a little drive together. Oh, my God. Camper, do you love your new friend? Let's get this thing started. Keith gave me a tour of the town. So this is the McGill Club. Wow. The front entrance was filled with people who served in World War II along with other historical photos. 
Keith showed me around the bar and told stories about the times he used to have at this club. Uh, during World War II, my family and other families would go to Wendover and bring soldiers here and let them party and that. And the army would bring deuce and a half trucks with 20 or 30 of them and bring them here for the weekend. Next, we headed to the swimming pool. On the way, we saw the town's hospital, depot, parks, and more. I even got to see one of the pots that was used to hold 14 tons of copper. Our last stop was at a gorgeous creek a few miles away. Let's check this place out. Come on, camp. Now this is a spot. Look at that creek. Wow. Oh, good boy, camper. Holy moly, that is ice cold. I told you. Yeah, you're not kidding. We're getting that in the morning. He really is. It was starting to get late, so we headed back to drop Keith back home. Keith, thank you so much. Well, thank you. That was such a good time. I, I had a perfect time. Gee whiz. I love it. Thank you so much, Keith. Wow, you guys, that was such a treat. We had so much fun. This place is filled with so much history. Keith had so many incredible stories. Um, there, it's really an experience like no other. Keith also showed us a badass camp spot. So what do you guys say we get over there? back this place looks familiar huh oh my goodness you guys we were having so much fun i forgot to eat oh my stomach is grumbling camp you gonna cook for us tonight oh no lady that's your job we got onions asparagus and potatoes Kale, zucchini, and mushrooms. We added bone broth, some beans, and some black truffle seasoning. There you go, good boy. Mmm. You guys, a black truffle seasoning is everything. Mmm. It also could be because I haven't eaten a single thing all day, but I'm gonna go with that it's just really good. So living in a van, you do have to think about conserving water because you're not sure when you're gonna come by the next place to fill up water. Uh, but I'm feeling pretty confident we will in the next couple of days. So we're gonna take a real shower tonight. Good boy. Hey, everybody. He's running in his sleep.
You're fine. <laughs> what is with those eyes? Did I scare you? Did you have a dream about me? <laughs> Good boy. Good boy. Uh, Mom, how do I look this morning? Dapper. to get ready for the day time to get ready for the day oh my god what are we gonna wear Woo, there you go all right here we go camp up front i am super excited about where we're going right now but uh we'll keep that as a little surprise let's hit the road You paying this time? All right, sick. Number three. Lucky number three. All right, we're all paid up. What do you guys say we go explore this place? I know campers are ready. to do on your own but we manage You are a mountain goat. What? Camper! <laughs> Wow, you guys this is so cool i have been in my fair share of slot canyons but this one i love because there's not that many people then again it's hours from anything so you got a point there that was amazing all right we're gonna explore more of these slot canyons later because the good boy wants to go for a bike ride so the good boy gets what the good boy wants.
we're back. You want some water, good boy? All right, this place has coin showers, so you know we are taking advantage of unlimited hot water. Here we are. After you, sir. Check this out, guys. Five minutes, 25 cents. That is superb. Oh, <laughs> oh God. That wasn't supposed to happen. All right, you guys. We love you all. Camper and I will see you next week. Have a good one. Lion in the jungle. <laughs> you read it? What does it say? Players with short bats stand close to the plate. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get that joke, right?